Good morning guys, in today's video we are gonna film a get ready with me. I have some new products that I want to use today. And if you are new here, hello, my name is Veronica. I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you're curious about this video, keep on watching. So let's start with primer. I recently purchased this one. It is the NYX Plump Right Back. So let's apply that one. Recently I purchased some makeup, which is not great. Not a lot, but I am on a low buy. But this NYX primer I bought because I wanted to have my points just to buy a palette or to have a palette for free. This is the one that I got. It is the Ultimate Festival palette. I don't know if we are gonna use something from here today. I do enjoy this primer, so I am okay with that. Mainly I want to film this video because I purchased a Sigma palette. This is the Jewels palette. It is a pretty new one. It is a nine pen. It looks really good. And I want to give Sigma eyeshadows another try because they were not horrible shadows, but I had the Untamed palette and the undertones, the depth of the shadow, it was not the right for me. I did enjoy most of the color story, but I wanted something smaller and something a bit lighter. And I think I can use this one as inner corner highlight and I do like the color story. I have a MAC mini foundation thing. I went uh, yesterday and purchased the setting spray from MAC. It is Black Friday period right now, so it is what it is. I bought the Stay Over setting spray half off and I asked them to give me the Radiance foundation. This is the one. It is a pretty expensive foundation, so I was curious and I wanted to just test it out. And don't forget with most foundations, you can just go into Sephora or Mac stores and ask them to give you a bit of product. You can go with one of these containers to Sephora and ask them, can you please give me this shade of that foundation? And they will probably give you some of it. So that is a good way to test the product before buying it. This is NC, NC10. Is that right? NC10, yes. I'm using the back of a brush and I'm just putting a bit of this. I have more than enough foundations in my collection right now, but I was curious about this foundation. So this is again a good way of trying a new product without purchasing anything. So let's apply a bit of concealer. I don't have a new one. I'm using the Maybelline Super Day. I am very curious what did you purchase for uh, Black Friday or for the Sephora sale because I know that in the US the Black Friday sale it's at the end of the month and you just got the Sephora sale we are just a bit in advance I'm uh, applying some powder some of the Huda one a lot of sales I do love sales who doesn't love sales but but still a bit too too much sometimes so please let me know what did you purchase or what is on your wish list and as well if you don't have anything on your wish list don't buy anything that is totally okay i'm gonna use the fenty bronzer this is the shade in the sun the lightest shade i'm gonna load my brush this is a sigma f36 and just blend it in here. It is a very light shade, so I can be heavy handed if I want because it's just blending very easily. That is for bronzer for now. I'm going to use this too. I got the Charlotte Tilbury kit when I was in Milan and we don't have Charlotte Tilbury in Romania, so I just purchased something and I purchased something from Kiko Milano as well. So I'm gonna use the pink gasm shade. This is new for me. I'm gonna just put it on the cheeks and just blend it out with my finger. I know that I applied already powder, but as well I do know this formula and usually if you are blending it out the moment that you are placing it, it should work pretty good on powdered skin as well. As you can see, it looks really good. It is very easy to blend out. 
I'm gonna use the highlighter as well. This is a spotlight and I had this one in a full size, but I decided to declutter that one because it was getting old. It is a 12 month shelf life and I do enjoy the product. So I did use it a bunch, but it is time for it to go. And I'm using the mini right now. I think I will be able to finish it up until next year. And that is great. I do enjoy a good mini and look at these cheeks. They are great. So I'm gonna do brows and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, brows done. I'm gonna list down below like usual everything that I used. I am uh, right now applying some eyeshadow base. This is a Sigma in Ignite. And this is a new one. So I just open it, which is always, always nice. Actually, let's do lips right now because I have two glosses one lipstick and one lip pencil. So that is more than I can put on my lips. So I am very excited. I purchased the new gloss bomb in the shade hologram. And look at this. It looks really, really great. So we are gonna apply a bit of the Kiko Milano lip pencil that I purchased and this one on top and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna put another lip on. So I have the Smart Fusion Lip Pencil in the shade 33 from Kiko. I already can give you a review. I don't like this one, but I'm gonna apply it. It is just a normal lip pencil and it's not longer lasting. It's just disappearing after two hours. So not, not my favorite. So lip liner done, let's apply this gloss. I am very curious. This is the gloss, it looks pretty peachy because of the lip liner probably, but I put a bit too much because I have so, <laughs> some goopy part in here. It is kind of nice, I do enjoy it. And the gloss bomb formula is always nice. So today actually I'm gonna use the purple because I always use green. I did so many green looks, I need to take a break. So I'm gonna use the purple and some of the mattes. I'm gonna start with this shade Garnet and it is a purple shade. And usually from my small experience of the Sigma shadows, they are pretty pigmented, but let's see. I'm gonna apply this on the edge and blend it into the crease just a bit. We are gonna use another shade as transition. I do have some kick up in the pan, but I usually don't mind that because it means that the shadows are not very hard pressed. So you are picking up on your brush a pretty good amount and that will result in a more pigmented look. But of course you can always tap your brush. But of course, if I have way too much fallout, that is not a good sign. I'm gonna take another brush. This is a Zoeva 231. The other brush was a Sigma E25. I'm using the shade Rose Quartz right now, this one. And I want to blend the other shade out. So I am able to blend this out, but it is a bit too dark for my skin tone. But that is kind of good because Sigma is a mainstream brand, even though they are, they are uh, indie, but they are pretty popular. So it is good that everybody could have some shadows because sometimes, sometimes Too Faced or brands like that have very light transitions, the beige tones, and that is not for everybody. So, so that is nice. And this, this um, purple, I do enjoy it. It is very pigmented and really, really nice. I'm gonna take some powder and just blend it in here with a pencil brush because I feel like this edge is just a bit muddy. For the lower lash, I'm taking an angle brush and this dark brown. I just want to use as many shades as possible and I'm gonna just put it right here. This one is pretty pigmented as well. 
Now I'm using Mystic with my finger and man, that looks kind of disappointing. <laughs> okay, it looks better on the eyes than on my finger actually. I'm using the shade Coral, this one, and it seems that is a good inner corner highlight. I don't know if you are able to see, but this edge here is pretty muddy and yeah, I'm kind of bummed because I'm not a professional makeup artist, so I'm not saying that I am perfect at makeup or stuff like that, so that is disclaimer. But, with, but as well, I did so many looks throughout the years and I tested a pretty good amount of eyeshadows and sure, I did make some mistakes and not all my looks are perfect, none of my looks are perfect, but I feel like this formula is pretty hard to work with. And maybe Sigma eyeshadows are just not for me. I can love everything else from Sigma because I love the brushes. My favorite lip oil is from Sigma. The eyeshadow primer, my favorite one, is from Sigma. Uh, the um, under eye corrector from Sigma, I finished it up. It was great. So I have a lot of favorites, staple products from Sigma. So I love the brand, I love everything, but except except the eyeshadow. I'm gonna try to fix this edge, put some lashes, maybe I can cover it with the lashes, and then we're gonna be back for some more lip products. I removed some of the lip, but I still have some shimmer on, and I put some gold on the lower lash just to see, but I didn't save this edge, so I decided to not put the lashes on because I'm not filming a reel or something with this look, and I'm not gonna go anywhere and I'm gonna probably film another video after this, but maybe if I'm staying like this, you <laughs> are not able to see it, but the next time I'm trying this palette, I'm gonna use some of these warmer tones and see how that looks. Let's talk about lips. I purchased a lipstick from Rem Beauty because Sephora was having 30% and this is in the shade Bubbly. I am quite disappointed in this brand, so I want to give it a last chance at least in the near future, if this is horrible or I don't know, I'm not <laughs> buying something else from Rem because I tested the eyeshadows, the single eyeshadows, and they were awful. I tested the highlighter and it's okay, but nothing that special. And the lip oil that is useless. So yeah. Why I'm trying another product? I have no idea. I do like the space theming of the packaging, so that is nice. The packaging was always nice. I did enjoy that, but let's see with this lipstick. This is the lipstick. It looks pretty good, so I do enjoy the shade and it looks pretty good with the eyeshadow. It looks peachy on the video, but it's pink in reality, so I'm gonna do some settings with the color to be as true to reality as possible and yeah so it looks okay right now of course i'm gonna use it a bunch of times like i said it is pretty hard to make a really bad lipstick so we will see but right now i want to put a gloss on top this is the kiko milano 3d hydra gloss i have the shade 17. this gloss was recommended to me multiple times by some co-workers so i really wanted to have it and this is not a first impression i do enjoy this gloss it is very very shimmery and comfortable and it looks really really nice so this is the final look of course it's not my favorite and i'm sorry sigma but these eyeshadows are just not for me they are hard to work with in my opinion it is what it is i'm gonna use it of course more and the lipstick from rem and the gloss from fenty these are the products that are brand new and the foundation from mac i think the foundation is my favorite it looks really really great right now so i'm gonna test it more and see yeah so this video was kind of chaotic but that is happening sometimes if you like this video and you want to see more from me please subscribe and give it a like and i'll see you next time